Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is getting good and clear. Uh, today we are going to answer Abdul. Uh, he is from Germany. He is very funny and actually really I like him. Uh, but let me call first uh, Brother Amir because I I know he like to uh, join me in this uh, uh, conversation. Please uh, share the links with your friends. Uh, tell everybody, everybody we are here. Uh, so they can join us. I'm calling Brother Amir from Germany. In case you do not know who is Amir, Amir is an ex-Muslim. Uh, he left Islam, him and his brother and his family. And uh, he's driving the Abdul nuts in Germany. Especially because he is an ex-Muslim. I look like he is busy, maybe. Let me leave a text for him. All right. Uh, we have this uh, Abdul, who he said, uh, he made a video. And he was talking about a hadith uh, about Aisha. She said, teach the women uh, just to like to how to make a closing and don't teach them how to write and read. And he's saying this hadith is rejected. And supposedly, that will make us look bad. I mean, this is the most silly uh, thing in Muslims they come with. First of all, you Muslims, you just admitted that this hadith is written in your books. So we are not fabricating. Number two, you show us websites and opinion of somebody saying that I don't accept this hadith. Who care? Well, you are saying the same. Muslims, any hadith make Muhammad look like a fool. They say we don't accept it. As an example, I will go by your rules. This guy, he went to this website and he showed us that uh, some reference uh, that uh, Muslims they are saying we don't accept this I am going to use the same website in the front of me he said that the Muslims they say that the hadith is reported by a Muslim who is a liar well I agree on all of you are liars and now you are saying to me that you Muslims report a story fabricated stories about your prophet and his wife and they are not true so what's my problem and what is the proof it's not true you were there and why it's written in your book and why the one who collect the hadith did not say it is it is not because if it's rejected they should not collect it anyway by putting it in a book as under the title of hadith of the prophet or aisha you just admitted that this is a hadith now you showed people from this website your proof that people say it's rejected okay here we go i am using the same website the same website they are saying Asim, the one you recite the Quran from, is a fraud. Asim, Asim, which important now? Which one is more important? Aisha, she said, don't teach them how to read and how to write. Aisha, she said, put them in their rooms. Aisha, she said, let them learn only how to make a clothing or list of reference, endless list of reference. Saying that the one who you Muslims you get the Quran from, he is a fraud. And look how many scholars they say that. You get me one saying that this guy is not uh, accepted. Here we go, brother Amir is with us. Hey Amir, how are you? Hey my friend, how are you? How are you, brother? God bless. I hope uh, I hope your uh, your sound is coming good and clear for people in the chat. I'm live on air now, and I'm yeah, I, I, you know. yeah. Uh, you know, I'm 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 speaking to to the people about this guy, this kid who found supposedly he yeah. found a discovery that Aisha, when she said that hadith, this is a fabricated hadith. It's rejected. <laughs> I know. Everything that Muhammad but, looked like a fool. No, listen, but listen, but listen, but listen, listen. Yesterday, we showed the Muslims from the same website. He is showing me that the prophet, he said, go and bite the penis of your father. 
from the same same exact website so why 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 here we go this is the website he, he showed us from it says here that this hadith that Aisha is saying that uh, uh, you know it is it is Moldova and who said that Al Alabani okay Al Alabani is a guy who just died a few years ago it's not like a, a scholar he exists from the time of uh, Muhammad no he is a person he is a Syrian guy who died just a few years actually me myself I attended the chat room of Alabani and the coward did not let me speak they have a chat room they invite him he's over the phone he, uh, and they you know they call him and people ask questions just because I'm a Christian challenging him they did not let me speak to him so uh, uh, and they claim they claim I don't know if this is Alabani or not they claim that a Sheikh Alabani is with, with us uh, and maybe they are liars too you never know now this is the website he used uh, saying that Aisha I'm showing it in the screen for everybody that this is a hadith is Mordua okay the same website saying that the hadith about Muhammad saying go and bite the penis of your father is saying Sahahu ibn Hayyan wal Alabani. Now, who is the one who reported the first hadith? <laughs> Abu Hayyan. And who is the one who is correcting the hadith? Is Abu Hayyan and Al Alabani. <laughs> No, no, Once it's a, they take a hadith is strong. My, the, my the friend, the my friend, did you, did you read? I don't know if you can uh, it, uh, get somebody to translate for you in Arabic. Let me read for you in the same website where it says, "Qad al Qari fa'adu." He's explaining what "adu" mean, and he said, and the, from the dictionary, "Adatu shay jalta jalta hu yadu." Adatu shay mean biting, biting something and uh, by the teeth or by tongue and then in according to the uh, dictionary behinni abi then he says which mean by uh, 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 like hold your tongue and your your teeth added by the penis I'm, I'm trying to you to be polite using the word penis but it's not penis you know what i mean and then he says or in arabic airahu which is the straight language you know or, I, yeah, or I, listen, no, not only this, or farjahu, which means his anus. <laughs> <laughs> so he is worried about Aisha saying, and he go and he spend the time to find the same website saying that this is a sahih hadith. Well, hadith was sahahu ibn Hayyan, well, Alabani. So, why from all the hadith we spoke of? This is the hadith he, because finally he found the hadith. This somebody says this hadith is Mudua. So now we make a party about it. You have a disaster about, about your prophet from the same website. If we go, what about this one? Let us see this one. The prophet is kissing. Look, look at I don't know if you can see the screen, uh, uh, Amir. Do you, can you see the screen? Everything. Okay, it says here. Uh, chapter regarding kissing a body the, <laughs> kissing what kissing the body the body of what a man kissing a man who, who is the first man and who is second man the first man is the Prophet Muhammad and the second man which Muhammad kissing him he is kissing his body okay and, and here they are quoting the story that the Prophet he put him under his ribs with a stick and he said let me let me let me do there. Let me go there. <laughs> and then he said to him, "You are wearing a shirt, but I am not. They are naked." You know the guy like what? And then the prophet he raised his shirt of the man and embraced him and began to kiss his side. Where 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 where? Kiss. You see this. This is the Muslim translation. You guys, you can see it, right? What is written in Arabic? This is important. No, in Arabic, it's not his side. The Arabic it says kishha, which means under the belly. <laughs> <laughs> brother, brother, that means Muhammad kissed the guy under his belly. Yeah, he's kissing the guy in in, in that location, and 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 uh, uh, and he, he like the guy did not do anything. Muhammad he came to him and he started tickling him uh, uh, with a stick, and then he lifted the, the the shirt of the man. He lifted up. The man is wearing a shirt 
you know he left the shirt of the man and then he pushed his head under his shirt and start kissing him down his belly naked now is this hadith is sahih let us go down it says sahih in chain alabani the same guy he said to us he accept to prove or disapprove alabani saying this is sahih in chain so what is the comment of the muslims about the prophet kissing the body of a man what ah. we, what we will call that what we will say any muslim have a yeah. comment you know Brother, there is another uh, narration in which muhammad kissed the little penis of hassan huh? well you know that i will let it go because i might say okay well maybe he is uh, being uh, silly with a kid you know okay but this guy he's kissing a guy this is two men in the brother, street brother, yeah brother this guy who uh, tried to answer you uh, <laughs> i want to uh, i want to see that he opened his camera drinking camel urine go uh, straight with a six years old married a six year old girl and then i <laughs> <laughs> and then I take him serious and use know? and use the three rocks to clean his ass all of this in camera You know and shake his penis three times Yeah, and before he go to the bathroom he have to make a prayer to Allah otherwise shaitan will play with his anus but you know also uh, uh, Everything we say like the prophet saying go and suck the penis of your father bite the penis of your father suck the clitoris of your mother he have no problem with it. but remember he was upset from me for saying the word donkey mm -hmm. right suddenly he is uh, is okay with donkey now the Quran called people donkeys he have no problem with it now they are they are a bunch of kids you know I feel sorry for them and actually I encourage the Muslims to make videos to refute us and the funny if we go in the in YouTube this guy if I go to the to uh, to YouTube the the one uh, let me see hold on uh, you know, if I don't know if you saw the, the previous uh, YouTube, he said to me, uh, keep your promise and send me the books for free so I can expose your lies. First of all, everybody can go and watch my uh, debate, my challenge. I made it in, in the in the house of uh, Brother Amir. I said, call me, debate me, prove me wrong and get my books for free. I didn't say I will give you my books for free and then you debate me. I'm not a fool. Otherwise, every Muslim can call me and I will keep sending books from now until the, 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 the coming, uh, the end of my life. That is a stupid argument. This is not what we said. We said, call us live, debate us, challenge us, show us where we are wrong, and then you are the winner. Otherwise, you are a potato. Same time. Right now, we are live. He can call us. He can call Brother, you. Is it funny that um, this Sheikh Al Albani said this hadith in which you call, uh, which you said, Aisha uh, said, um, don't um, teach women to read and write. And this guy said um, in, in another hadith that uh, the sucking of penis is okay. What a joke is that, you know? Uh, two of these hadiths uh, let Muhammad look like a fool, you know? Muhammad is a fool, my friend. Muhammad is a fool and the hadith witness for that and the Quran witness for that. You know, uh, uh, the, the Arab, they always they love from Muhammad uh, uh, when he recited the Quran. And we can show tons of reference, but however, just to show you that Muhammad is a fool. Let us see what this guy and the Muslims will say. Muhammad, he is a madman who cannot even be trusted to tell us about what happened in his bedroom to the point he imagined himself having sex, but in fact, he don't. Here we go. This is what he will say now. He will say Sahih al-Bukhari. He will say this is weak. He is worried about if Aisha said, teach them or not to teach them and by the way I will go back to teach them to get them busted because now he just said that this is a hadith is wrong right but but the, the Muslim did not say it's against Islam teaching notice there's a huge difference between saying this is not accepted because the one who reported is not much trustworthy and who is the one saying that someone who never met that one however no one can say this is against the teaching of Islam because we can prove it from the teaching of Muhammad but before we go there it says in the front of us this is Sahih Bukhari. The Prophet continued for such and such a period of time, imagining that he has sex, sexual relationship with his wives. In fact, he did not. So Muhammad officially crazy, and he is a stupid. Imagine we have a person he do not know if he had sex or not. He imagined himself having sex with the same as the perfect host. You remember the movie we watched? You know, the perfect host. 
it's exactly <laughs> this the same story i advise everybody to watch the perfect horse movie it's exactly about muhammad now as long he's saying that aisha uh, hadith about the, uh, not to teach uh, uh, women how to write how to read okay let us see what muhammad he said about that because muhammad he made it clear that women are stupid and they are not even qualified uh, to be a witness in the court okay in the Quran women they can only witness in the case of borrowing money and two women plus one man which means if there is one billion women alone witnessing something they will not be accepted why is that because Islam consider women are stupid and here we go in front of us Muhammad is proving that Muslim women they have a lack of wisdom and they, they have a, a, a deficiency in their religion read with me carefully this is the hadith and this is translated by Muslims written by Muslim collected by Muslims and it is hosted by Muslims this is Sahih Muslim hadith this is Riyadh al-Saliheen we will show it from Sahih Muslim too book number 20 hadith number 11 Muhammad he says they ask him and what is our deficiency in in in, in, uh, in our wisdom Muhammad accusing women that they have a lack in wisdom and deficiency in wisdom and in religion what is the deficiency in the in the wisdom or our religion a woman she asked he said in fact the evidence of two women is equal that one to one man so muhammad he is using the quran to prove deficiency in, in in intelligence so the quran do teach that women are not equal to the men and that lead us to understand why they should not go to school if you go right now in taliban in afghanistan you will see how many yeah. schools they burn is taif or rejected even the um, uh, mujahideen from uh, taliban there um, burn the the schools in, right in how, which, um, how come this hadith is rejected by taliban who they are very authentic muslims following yeah. islam yeah in the straight way they are not considered as uh, as rejected and here in the front of us brother, this, this brother, is sorry for the, yeah uh, sorry for interrupting you in your book Allah's toy show uh, you uh, you gave a source in which al to be said in his uh, book Jami al ahkam yeah in surah al-nur uh, uh, page 146 or 164 all right do you have this reference because you gave a lot of reference uh, in case of this uh, uh, this, this is about uh, about uh, aisha you mean yeah, because well, of Aisha. Well, it's, uh, they can, uh, any, anyone can go right now, any, any, anyone, my friend, uh, uh, Amir, anyone can go and read the chapter. We have the chapter number, we have the, ch uh, the, the page uh, number, and the website. They can go to the tafsir.com, and right now they can read it. The problem is that if this is written all over their books, why today the Muslims, they are saying that this is not accepted? Why it was not was accepted 20 years ago or 30 years ago? Today, the answer, the answer is very simple, because today people don't accept this garbage, and the Muslims they are they want to change their their skin. You know, they are like a snake who's growing, and the snake what what the snake does change this, uh, this this the skin. The skin it doesn't fit now, so we change we change the color, we change the skin, we change everything. So yeah. in in certain time, all those hadith, you know, Erdogan. He made a conference in the year 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, and the conference non-stop until now. They have a conference every year, so they can filter the hadith. And what they want to do in the filtering, they want to throw any hadith which make the prophet look bad out of the hadith. But how you can do that? It is says says sahih. They can because simply it's a it's it's a it's a it's a community of hypocrites. It doesn't matter they can throw it away but it's too late now because all those books are published all over in the internet we have the internet it's too late this can be done in the time of Uthman ibn Affan maybe but not now it's too late same time I just heard that the new president of Pakistan or Prime Minister he is going to take he is going to ask the United Nation to to make a law to stop insulting Islam and this is look how scared they are they want to they think this is this is how small their brain is who are you to make us stop this insulting? Islam is a joke. Don't you see? Muhammad saying that women, they have defect in their, in, in their wisdom. You want us not to stop talking about Islam? So you want us to believe and accept that women have defect in their religion? 
Aisha, she is Aisha, she is ten times smarter than Muhammad. And she said to him, Anta man anna She said to him, You claim to be a prophet, which means Aisha herself. Uh, Aisha herself believed not that Muhammad is a prophet. She got him busted. Yeah, this hadith in front of us. Let me show it to you. Let me find it for you. Uh, 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 I hope I will find it. To fulfill your desires, huh? and the other hadith, yes. Uh, uh, here we go. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what is the hadith about Aisha saying, Aisha, we want Aisha, not other person. Uh, anyway, Aisha, she said, you, you claim to be a prophet, and then the other hadith you mentioned already, uh, uh, you know. Uh, you know, I see that your God, he rushed into your desire, Muhammad. You know, obviously, you're a scam. You know, and what the desire about what? Desire about sex. You know, about sex. Uh, Muhammad, he want to have a woman. He right away, he make a verse or chapter saying women, they can take off their panty and sleep with me. Uh, I will try. I will, maybe I will make a video. Uh, I will make a video about this hadith. Maybe I can find it somewhere. Uh, I prefer to find it in English so people they can read, you know, and not just. Uh, here we go, Ahl al Hadith. <laughs> the same website you like. قالت عائشة مرة في كلام غضبت عن عنده وأنت الذي تزعم أنك نبي and and you you are the one who claimed to be a prophet. فتبسم رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. He did not answer. He laughed, you know, she got him busted, and you are the one who claimed to be a prophet. <laughs> what do you think, Muslims? And here there is reference of the hadith, etc. etc. And you know, all the reference in Islam speaking that Muslim women they are not considered equal to men, and Muslim women, even they can beat them as in chapter 4, verse number 34. And Muslim women, they are they, they Muhammad, he said it clearly that most of the inhabitants of hell are women why he said he made it clear for two reasons and this is shown us that muhammad is a stupid donkey too he said because two reasons they have deficiency in the religion and because in, the, in their brain and they have their menses they have their period and th both reasons are stupid because if i have deficiency in religion let us in, let us say i have deficiency in the brain i mean it's not fair that Allah, he made me have deficiency in the brain and then he will send me to hell because he made me have deficiency. This is a, this a contradiction. This is a stupid. Not only contradiction is not fair, it's not just the same time. The deficiency in religion, what it is, he said you have your menstruation. Well, isn't it Allah is the one who made them have menstruation and he is the one forbid them from praying in that time? You forbid them from practicing or fasting. You forbid them from practicing certain practice in Islam because they have ministration and you will punish them. And now they became lowest believers and they will go to hell for two reasons. And both reasons, they have nothing to do with it. Where is, where, no, it's, this is this is showing us that the one who Muhammad is speak of as, as God is a stupid if this God is exist, this God is stupid. If Muhammad is the one fabricating these stories, Muhammad is a stupid and not Allah. Mostly Allah is not a stupid because Allah is not exist. So obviously it is Muhammad, madman, who tried to blame the women for everything. You see, Muhammad, uh, he said, if not Eve, no man, no woman betray her husband. Uh, why is that? What, what, what is that? What, what does that mean exactly? You see, the Muslims, they lie, they say, in Christianity, the Bible blamed the women for the sin of Adam. Now read the Bible, my friend, and laugh at yourself. Brother, brother, they yeah. even say Rebecca was three years old. That uh, is justifying mm -hmm. Muhammad's six-year-old bride marriage. Aisha, no, you know, no, uh, you know I challenge any Muslim to show me where it says the age of Rebecca when she get married. That is the challenge. <laughs> that, is, that is a stupid. Let us say. A uh, Christian prince, he met a girl when she was one month old and one month. I met her when she was one month. So what, what does have to do with the topic? You have to show me where he did marry her, where he did marry her and what her age. This is the stupidity of the Abdul. Same time, same time. 
if the Bible report, as an example, the Muslim, they keep talking about the story of Lot, right? That his do his daughters have sex with him. Is that correct? Okay. Let us say, let us say, okay, this is what happened. The, the Bible report this. Okay. What the problem? Because simply the Bible reporting a story. It doesn't say that God told the daughters of Lot, go sleep with your father. The, the Quran, the Quran report that the wife of Lot is a whore. Okay, does that mean the Quran saying that the, Allah told the wife of Lut to be a whore? The Quran reporting, the Quran reporting that she was, you know, uh, she was a whore. Actually, the Quran report report two women they are whore, which is very funny. The wife of Noah and the wife of Lut. If you read here, this is a chapter sixty six, verse number ten. I will, I will, I will make it in in English and in German, so people they can uh, read both. First in English, you will see here Allah sets forth an example to the unbelievers, the wives of Noah and the wives of Lot. They were respective, and their two of our right, right, you know what what they did? They betrayed their husband. How they betrayed their husband? The Muslim now they have the art of explaining how they betrayed their husband. It says khanatuhuma, which means they cheated. They are they wear a whore. For example, to disbelievers, the wife of Noah and the wife of Lot were both under our righteous servant, and they acted uh, what? A trish rosely. I don't know what even this word means in English. I don't know what uh, what exactly. But it says it clearly in Arabic. Let us go to the German. Maybe you can see what it says. This is in the German. Okay. Now we have two women. They betrayed their husband according to the Quran. Is that mean Allah is saying that he told them to be uh, to, to bad women or he is reporting what they did? So this is the stupidity of the Abdul. They try to take something from the Bible and try to make a story for it. The Bible is a book full of stories about people. There is God talking and there is people talking. There is God action and there is people action. As an example, David. David was a sinner, very bad sinner. And nowhere in the Bible, we don't praise David for he was a sinner, but we respect David because he did repent. David was a person, he's very bad. He's, he was like Muhammad, you know, in certain point of his life. He was same as Muhammad, you know, he's, but not, not filthy to the point of Muhammad. He was a lot higher. Like, me, let us say, Muhammad is the top star when it's come to adultery and killing and rape and etc. David, he attended the school of Muhammad maybe for one week. And then David, he repent. And this is what the Bible says, that this man, he repent. And the Bible report the crimes of David. Not, it's not, not only a sin, it is more than a sin. It is really, really bad sin. The Bible reporting it, and this is a proof that the Muslim, they lie when they say, we corrupted our book. Because if we are corrupting the books, shouldn't we filter all the bad stories? Right? Why we have it there? Why we have the story of Lot? Why we have the story of David? Because nobody corrupt anything. Because we because we keep the book. And how the Jews and the Christians they will agree together to corrupt the book? Brother, brother, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, you know the argument uh, of uh, Lot, uh, these two daughters who make him drunk and sleep with him. Yeah. And put them out so so proud and say, look. How immoral the Bible is! They teach incest and uh, father to sleep with daughter, and they're laughing and so. And said, uh, "Wait, uh, did your Quran uh, promote incest and say when you uh, when you are sleeping with your daughter who who is not married to your wife, uh, uh, in which you are not married with his wife, and you became a child, yeah. and this child not your uh, your um, real child, you know." It, it everything in the Islam uh, ha has to be happened uh, uh, from marriage, you know. That means when uh, Mujahid uh, slept with a, a slave and became a daughter, this is not his daughter. He can't sleep with his daughter. Yes, the Quran. You have that in my book, the Sex and Allah. Anyone can go and read it. The Muslims believe strongly that, and this is according to the most accurate opinion in Islam. After passed off. Yeah. Uh, that that if a man have sex with the mother, he have the right to have sex uh, with his daughter from that mother as long she is not his daughter from marriage, as long she is his daughter from adultery. And you know we are going to show you that, that those reference 
right here right now i mean we do not need to go uh, uh we do not need to go and, and search uh, all over let us uh, see here this is the same website uh, uh, mr abdul uh, uh, his name is ramadan right ramazan <laughs> i don't know how they call somebody ramazan because there is not there, there's no in arabic there's nobody call ramazan is not exist this is stupid we have ramadan what ramazan anyway they don't even know how to say a name uh Look, uh, look with me what it says here. It says, قوله تعالى نسب وصير النسب وصير معنيان يأمين كل قربة تكون بين أدمي قال ابن العربي. The scholar ابن العربي he said, النسب عبارة عن خلط الماء بين الذكر والأنثى على وجه الشرع فمن كان فإن كان بمعصية كان خلقا مطلقا ولم يكن نسبا محققا ولذلك لم يدخل تحت قوله حرمت عليكم أمهاتكم وبناتكم بنته من الزنا لأنها ليس ليست ببنت له في أصح القولين لعلماء القولين لعلماءنا وأصح القولين في الدين وإذا لم يكن نسبا شرعا وإذا لم يكن نسبا شرعا فلا صهر شرعا فلا يحرم الزنا ببنت أم ولا أم بنت let me translate إن وما يحرم من الحلال لا يحرم من الحرام to make it simple he is saying in the Quran it says it's forbidden for you to have sex with your daughter but because the daughter from adultery is not considered as a daughter in Islam. Therefore, it is not forbidden for him to have sex with the mother and the daughter from that mother, which is his daughter from his blood. Because Wait, I want to explain that, brother. Sorry? Uh, I want to explain it for the German people who don't understand English. Okay, well, you can translate. Go ahead. This is, first of uh, all, first of all, this is the, the, the book of Al-Qurtubi. Yeah, of Al this is the book of Al-Qurtubi. Page number 58. Uh, and the explanation of made it as lineage and marriage. Um, made it as lineage and marriage. Also, es geht um die Heirat. For the for the chapter twenty five, verse number fifty four. Uh, from Quran Surah 25, uh, 25. 54. Uh, 45, uh, Surah 25, 45, and, it's, and it says it clearly to make it short that if you have sex with a woman and she is not your wife and you have daughter from her it is lawful for you to have sex with the mother which is not your wife and the daughter which is daughter from blood but not from marriage mm -hmm. because this is a daughter from adultery dass die Muslime sagen, wenn du aus einer Unzucht heraus mit einer Frau schläfst und daraus ein Kind entsteht, so kannst du weiter mit der Frau und der Tochter äh, schlafen. Dann ist das nicht, äh, dann seid ihr nicht blutsverwandt, obwohl die blutsverwandt ja sind. So krank ist das Ganze. And that only, das ist die glaube, traurige, bittere Realität. And not only that, it says, this is the most accurate opinion of the of the scholars of Islam. This is the most accurate, uh, accurate, correct opinion, which means the majority of them, they agree with this, the most majority. So this is, this, this is the incest. Where, where is the incest in the Bible? There is the, the Bible, you see, in, in, uh, just to show the Muslims how stupid when they say incest. Muhammad, when he had sex with his own daughter-in-law, that is incest. Wow. Is that incest or not? This is his daughter-in-law. You know, you want to say you want to say this is a daughter from uh, uh, this is his son from adoption. Doesn't matter. The man who 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 respect his honor. The second he adopt a person, there is no way he will touch his wife. You adopted the man. He is your son. And Muhammad, he said it clearly that uh, Zaid ibn Muhammad wa Muhammad ibn. Uh, 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 Muhammad Abu Zaid. So he was saying Zaid is the son of Muhammad. And Muhammad is the father of, of Zaid. When Muhammad he saw the woman and he liked her very much, he wanted to have sex with her. Suddenly, he don't want the adoption no more because the Arab forbid. You see, the Arab have high morality, a lot higher than the, 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 the faith of Muhammad. None of the Arab uh, before. Yeah. Is there a, uh, is there a story from Atabari in which he said that Muhammad saw um, Zainab naked and he was very horny? Huh? There is a narration about it, huh? Well, well uh, the hadith, uh, the, the, the story about it, reporting that uh, uh, when Muhammad he came to the house of uh, Zainab, uh, yeah. 
uh, he uh, he found her standing and show or like wearing see through and supposedly Allah let's Allah Allah moved the curtains Allah it's Allah you know Allah Allah is involved here Allah is like Muhammad is coming Allah he moved the curtain by by the by the wind you know the wind and so Muhammad he can see her wearing almost nothing and then Muhammad uh, said uh, said uh, Subhana mu'allif al so a man he flirt with his own son wife what kind of a man yeah, you know what? You know what? Listen. Ausband. Yeah, go, go ahead. Translate. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, also, uh, es geht ja in der Geschichte darum, dass uh, Muhammad Zeynep uh, sehr begehrt hat und ich glaube, in einem von den Tafsiren wird das uh, noch mal richtig erklärt, dass Muhammad uh, Zeynep nackt gesehen hat und er sofort so heiß geworden ist und sofort kümmert sich Allah um seinen Propheten und <lacht> Said musste sich dann von Zeynep scheiden lassen wegen Muhammad und das nimmt man ja auch Inzest, weil dort damals in der damaligen Zeit, ähm, wenn man eine Frau, also wenn man ein Ki äh, Kind adoptiert hat, dann war das ja sein richtiges Kind auch. Nur später hat das Muhammad ja dann wieder verboten, <lacht> weil sich die Leute darüber ja aufgeregt haben. Wie kann er das, das machen? Das hat ja ausgespannt. Der hat äh, dem armen Said seine Frau weggenommen. Und der, und der Allah, <lacht> der kommt mit einer Suche, die Muhammad Heirat mit Zeynep rechtfertigt. Also das ist unfassbar. Der Allah, der kümmert sich immer um die libidinöse, äh, ja, <lacht> um die sexuellen Bedürfnisse seines, seines Propheten. Ne? Das ist unglaublich. Man merkt, dass es das eine Lügen, äh, von einem Lügen äh, Gott ist. Und also für mich ist das ja nicht von Gott, aber man merkt, dass es von einem Lügner geschrieben worden ist. Ich weiß nicht, wer den Koran verpasst hat, aber das sind nicht Gottes Worte, nämlich von einem Menschen, and you know what about what about Zainab obviously Zainab she is in in uh, because you know Zainab think about it this guy is adopted a slave and uh, obviously Muhammad because he cannot have kids this is an additional proof that Muhammad cannot have kids his wife Khadija she was involved in this adoption so he and his wife they have no choice but to adopt a son because he cannot have kids and then you will see that uh, Zainab obviously she is sleeping with Muhammad already she said that each time my husband Zaid wanted to have sex with me his his penis is swell his penis swell and let me here we go this is the official government website of the government of, of, of Saudi Arabia as you see the title there Quran key su it, dot edu uh, dot sa Saudi Arabia okay and here it says that uh, uh, Zainab she said that each time uh, uh, you know uh, uh, Zaid he tried to have sex with her uh, his penis as well now who is the one who made his penis as well Allah because now Muhammad and this is after Muhammad he flirted with the women so now Allah he knew that Muhammad he want this woman and because of that he will not let the penis of this man function no more so each time the man he want to have sex with her allah made his penis as well and this is an additional miracle in islam if muhammad he saw a, a, a wife of a man then no no penis can 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 function that's it your penis is broken that's it until you divorce your wife let me find you where it says that because uh because the muslim they might say this is not true this is a lie you know you know them you know that Abdul. Uh, let us see. Here we go. And it said that an Zayda tawarra ma dhalika minhu hina ma hina arada an yaqibaha. Fahada qareeb min dhalika. Okay. And it says that when Zayd he tried to have sex with her after the the, the occasion of a flirting with the wife, uh, uh, his penis as well. So each time, each time he tried to have sex with her, his penis as well. And look where it says here. Uh, that uh, that Zainab, she was one of the most beautiful and tall white women in the town, and that explained why Muhammad he wanted her badly because simply she is really very good looking. Muhammad he went to her house, he saw that she is saw her naked, he saw how beautiful she is, and then you know uh, 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 he he got horny, he wanted her. Look what Zainab she said. وروي في الخبر أنه أمس زيد فأوى إلى فراشه قالت زينب ولم يستطيعني زيد 
وما امتنع منه غير ما منعه الله مني فلا يقدر علي and Zaid when he came back home he wanted to have sex with her but he could not do it and what make him not to do it except Allah so he cannot so he cannot do me you know this is uh, Zainab is a proud now that the penis of her husband imagine the guy is married I mean legally officially according to Allah this is the man and this is the wife why Allah is not allowing the man to have sex with his wife for sure those stories are fabricated to make it like it's a it's a miracle Allah he want this man to divorce his wife so Muhammad can have her and then uh, the man he went to uh, uh, to Muhammad and he said to him uh, because uh, uh, Zainab she told what his father she told uh, uh, Zaid what his father said he told she told him he flirted with me he said to me praise be to Allah the one who made my heart flip for you so Muhammad so the man he knew now for sure that either he leave his wife or he will end dead so he decided to divorce her he knew that there's something fishy look what it says here I'm re just reading exactly as it says it says so one day he came to Zaid looking for him so he found Zainab standing and she was white beautiful and full in body fat which means fat in the old days by the way uh, mm -hmm. women who they are fat they are the beautiful the skinny women it's mean they are sick and they cannot have kids like to the point honestly to the point until now in Arabic we have a we have a song saying that uh, there's a woman her name is Lala and the camel could not carry her because she is so beautiful why because she's so fat you know so and she was from the most beautiful women of Quraysh so Fahawiha you know so he was he fell in love it says here in front of me Fahawiha he fell in love with her the prophet fell in love with married women they go and they say okay hold on do you see what David did David is a king David is a king and he's a sinner they say Muhammad is not a sinner he's uh, sinless <laughs> how, how they can say in the Quran says Muhammad is a sinner you know, no, it's, I know it says you know and ask us for forgiveness of your sin and their sin and that is that that is in many location in the Quran so how they can say Muhammad is not sinner the Quran mentioned it clearly that the Messiah is not sinner yes chapter 19 verse 19 but Muhammad is absolutely a sinner man it says ليغفر لك الله ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر and what it says may Allah forgive you for the coming uh, for the past sin and the coming sin oh, hold on what kind of God he say may Allah forgive to you your past sin and coming sin may obviously this is Muhammad making a verse saying that he, there is no way Allah will say may Allah forgive you Allah say may Allah forgive you that Allah may forgive thee the and look at the first translation default what fault if you change the translator, you will see the, the word fault became sin. Just change translation. Here we go. All right, go up. Here you go. See, it says here sin that Allah more may forgive thee of the sin that which in the past and which to come. So how we how they can say such a thing? It's it's a it's a stupid, it's crazy. It's in the front of us. Let me switch to German and you tell me what it says in German. Does it say sin or it says fault? And there are false translation as usual. Let us see what it says here. In, in the, in the uh, number two, I don't know if it's clear for you. Does it say sin or it says fault? <clears throat> Can you read it? Yeah, it, it's uh, written sin. Okay, so here we go. It says, may Allah forgive your sin. Allah's talking saying, may Allah forgive your sin. <laughs> <laughs> Give you your sins right. and, and why, your... why like and why even you mention Allah why why the name Allah is exist because if Allah is talking I don't mention his name correct if I say if I'm a Christian prince talking to you and, and let us say you borrow from me 10 uh, uh, 10 uh, uh, euro mm -hmm. and I want to forgive you for paying me so do I say me Christian prince forgive you I mean this is stupid I am a Christian <laughs> prince and then why what do you mean may either you forgive him or you don't forgive him what does that mean you know so here muhammad always he forget to switch from the from the second person to the third person so he should say and allah forgive for uh, for uh, forgive you for your sin okay that will be fine or uh, and and the, the lord forgive you for your sin or i forgive you for your sin 
But to say, may Allah forgive you for your sin, obviously this is someone made the verse, made it as coming from Allah, but it doesn't make sense at all. And how Allah may forgive him if it is not, if Muhammad is not sinner. If Muhammad is not sinner and Allah may forgive him, that's mean Allah is a drunk. Forgive him for what if he could never commit sin? It's like, you know, saying to me, to you, I will for, uh, forgive your uh, crime against me, but you never did a crime against me. <laughs> <laughs> and there it's uh, he. Uh, it's written there, uh, he. Yeah, he forgive he. your sin. Yeah, may Allah, he forgive your sin. So who's he? Who's talking? <laughs> he must fulfill your uh, way or something like this. Yeah, it's, uh, it's obviously that Muhammad, he made uh, he, he made this verse all those verses is his fabrication to give himself legitimate place in the world of what they call them prophethood but Muhammad obviously is not a prophet you know imagine a prophet of God he said that you know it's a privilege to thee to sleep with all women in the world privilege to thee why I mean why a Muslim man he can have four but Muhammad have a privilege that can have sex with any woman she offer herself and where is where and what is that will do to Islam and what that would do to a prophet and what that do do to Allah? So like Allah giving Muhammad a favor that because you are a good boy, I will let you sleep with all Muslim women. So you know this is what the Shia, you know, if you see the Shia. By the way, I heard today uh, a Sheikh in the YouTube. He was saying that Habibi, the Imam Jafar. Because of him, he is the one who discovered the oxygen. <laughs> he is the one what? He discovered the oxygen. <laughs> Unbelievable, those people. It's really, yeah. And obviously, Muslims will come one day and they will say the oxygen is exists in the Quran. They will say to you, By the way. Uh, the Quran says that Allah created from water every living thing. That's false. There's many living things have no water in it. As an example, bacteria. Bacteria, bacteria. This is why if we put the bacteria in the freezer, you cannot kill it, because simply there's no water inside. If there is water, the water will 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 explode. You know, it will uh, the size will will become bigger. And that the cells, whatever that, that creature is, is going to be destroyed. So the Quran made a mistake, you know, and uh, uh, this is absolutely uh, false. Same time in the Quran, uh, it says that Allah, He created the mule. The mule. How Allah created the mule? I want the Muslims, because the Quran said that Allah created from everything. Be bears, which means male and female. Hmm? How? Where is the where is the male and where is the female mule? Any Muslim want to tell us? I will tell you. The male fuel is uh, the, the the male mule is Allah and the female mule is Muhammad. I mean, <laughs> how we can say, how we can say such a thing? Uh, let, let me find the verse. My internet is slowing down. I know what happened to this website. See, when you talk about the mule, what happened? So, so Allah created the mule. Allah created the mule, and those mule, uh, they are male and female. Okay, uh, uh, what's wrong with this website? Why I type the word that go back to the word before it? There is something wrong in the in the website here. Uh, you know, if we want to talk about mistakes and errors and stupidity in Islam, every single page in, in Islam is, is stupid. I, I challenge any Muslim. You see, after uh, uh, Amir, you, like you, you said, we will do me and you live podcast together, right? Uh, yeah. After after September 7 or 8, uh, we can do live broadcast or maybe uh, 9. Uh, I will be in my way to the state. Uh, in the coming few days, actually, I will not be able to do broadcast because uh, I'm leaving uh, uh, to different uh, uh, location, and the internet there is extremely horrible. So I will not be able to do live broadcast. But with, within, you know, let us say a week or so, uh, we will do me and the brother Amir. 
a live podcast he will podcast in his channel our podcast and my channel we will share a screen and everybody will see uh, things will be good and we can do good work together yeah yeah do, do you have any question brother Amir from your side like I don't know if you're no, on my side it's everything clear I know that the <laughs> most um, um, most scholars in Islam are uh, big fat liars and um, that they say that they, uh, hadith is daif and, and the other narration that uh, this hadith is strong they don't know what they are <laughs> saying that they don't know what they say you know yeah, well, uh, you know, Muslims always they try to find a solution for problems, and I understand. But you know, it's all written in your books. You see, if you go in my books, you will find the page number, the title, where it is located, even the text in Arabic. How you can deny that? And in the same time, if a Muslim like now this Abdul, he said that the hadith about Aisha saying don't teach them how to write, how to read, is a lie. Okay, but that's mean you Muslims are the liars, not us. For we are quoting what written is in your, in your book. Why you Muslims? That's mean you Muslims fabricate hadith about your prophet. It's not a Christian prince who went and he made a book saying, okay, this guy, Muhammad said though, it's not me. I just quoted from there. So you Muslims, you have a problem, obviously. You admit that Muslims are not trustworthy. Even their prophet, they forget for fabricate his words. And as long you, you know, as long Islam is based on Sunnah and Quran. And you are saying to me that the Sunnah is full of fabrication. That means Islam is not valid because now we lost 50% of Islam. Actually, the most important part of Islam is not in the Quran. It is in the Sunnah, more than 80%. So 80% 80, 80 of Islam is, is full of corruption. How we can find out which is one is it true? You know? And the one it says Sahih, do you accept it? Do you accept that the Prophet said women have half a brain? And they have deficiency in their intelligence and they will go to hell do you accept that the prophet said uh, if you want to go in the bathroom shaitan will go inside your anus do you accept that the prophet says shaitan will rub himself around your penis sahih hadith don't you want a sahih hadith you know so do you accept uh, accept tell us what do you accept so obviously anything will make muhammad look like an idiot the idiot of the village the muslim right away automatically they say we we'll reject anything you know what about the Quran saying? I don't know why this website is not functioning. It's not here. We go. Finally, it's working. Okay. Uh, uh, Muhammad. But by the way, the Muslim they made an article, chapter sixteen, verse number eight. It says, Allah He spoke about airplanes. How Allah spoke about airplanes in the Quran? I wear. They say in chapter sixteen, verse number eight. Okay, what it says there. I will, I will, uh, I will show you the translation uh, in in German, so you can laugh with me at the fantasy and the fictions of the Muslims. All right, read, read. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, Amir, now or not yet. Uh, uh, I see everything, brother. Okay. Allah, He created the donkeys and the mule and the horses, huh? and uh, uh, and He created things we do not know. The Muslim they say those things he said we created things we don't know is the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> but Abdul, it's not Allah who created the airplane. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> they are they are desperate to find anything to make their Quran a book of wonder. Because their, you know, their, 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 their books is, have nothing; is empty, you know. Uh, you know, maybe we will go more in details, and maybe next time uh, we will get lucky and get some Abdul's Muslims, uh, real Muslims, who claim to be uh, like Imam in the mosque or etc. I want to, be, to have an Imam who is not ignorant, you know, and he has a um, uh, power of knowledge, you know, not that, like a kid like him, you know. Well, Ima, Ima, Ima. It, would be, it would be better for us when someone, a scholar, is calling us, you know, because some Muslims are follow him, and then we see that, that my, this Imam. My friend, answer. my friend, do you remember Imam Ruhi from Al Azhar University? Doctor Ruhi is a doctor. He have a PhD in Islam. He is a doctor and he is a sheikh in Al Azhar University. Not like this Abdul who is trying to grow some hair in his beard. Uh, uh, this guy, you remember, he said to me, "This hadith is uh, is is a daif." 
ضعيف نكست ويك هي كيم اند هي ابولوجيز هي سيد صحيح 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 It's automatic, automatic, anything you say, make Muhammad, he thought, let me tell you what he thought. He thought that we do not know. He can say it's weak and he got away with it, you know? Mm -hmm. But then when I said to him, this is this and there, blah, 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 how you say it is weak? What are you talking about? You know? Then he said, okay, I have to go now. I have to go and uh, I will come next week and I will, uh, you know, and, and next week I asked him the same question because he, I'm not going to make him get away with it. And he said, yeah, it's, it's a sahih. Sahih, my friend, it's sahih. So now we, what we will do. <laughs> it is sahih. And when I asked him about tafsir, he said, if you remember, he said, the brother, tafsir is made to solve problem in Islam. Yeah, I agree. That tafsir is made to solve problem. Do you know what the problem is? To defend Islam because Islam looked like a joke. So if tafsir never the, the, in the book of tafsir, which is called explanation, how you can explain a book? The, the book itself says that we make it in a clear details. Isn't it the Quran says we made it in clear details? So if the book is in a clear details, so why the Muslims they have thousands of books to explain the book which is explained by Allah Himself? Obviously, Allah explanation is shish kebab. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, anyway, I mean, I, I, I got to go. I cannot stay really long. I appreciate ha appreciate having you, and I appreciate all those they listening to us. Please download every, our videos, and don't forget to subscribe to Brother Amir. He, uh, you can click at his name if you post any comment, so you can join his uh, his YouTube. And uh, uh, but the, his his channel is in German, just so that you know. But you know, we when we together work, we will make it in both languages. Thank you, Amir, for for having uh, being with us. You. Yes, and say hello to all the brothers there, all the good ones. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, guys. I want to say thank you for being here. Really, I have to go. I, I don't have much time. And uh, remember, I might, I will try to to do tomorrow uh, uh, a live broadcast, but this is not a promise. Uh, and then after that, I'm moving to different place. And the internet there, if we get lucky, we will have a good internet. But most likely, it's not going to work. So if it is good, I will do. Uh, and if not, then my coming broadcast will be when I come back to the state. And this, this will be at the last, in, like maybe uh, September uh, 7, 8, something like this, because I did not confirm uh, the, the ticket yet. So uh, uh, until until our coming broadcast, which is we don't know when exactly, I say may the Lord bless you and keep you all in good hands. And I say to the Muslims, trust me. A man who say, if someone is proud about in his inheritance, tell him to buy the penis of his father. That is not worthy. That cannot be a prophet. That cannot be even a teacher in a school. That is a savage man, have a filthy mouth, and he have no ethic. I don't want to come to you how many times Muhammad he broke in his lifetime the ethic, the normal standard of ethic, not the high ethic, the normal one from having sex with his own son wife, forcing her to, to divorce her, to marrying a child, to, to, to make a chapter saying any woman she can give herself to me. Why? Muhammad already have 13 wives. Why he need more? I mean, why man he need more and more and more? And why unlimited numbers? Because simply he is God in Islam. He is the one who fabricate verses. And this is why Aisha, she said, Inni ara rabbuka yusari ila hawaka ya Muhammad. I see your God rush into your temptation, Muhammad. Your desire, your sexual desire. You want women, Allah, he give you a verse. You want this woman to marry her, divorce her, Allah give you a verse. Anytime, anything regarding money, sex, verses are ready, made for Muhammad in his size. And the size of Muhammad is amazing. To the point he said, I was the most weak person between all mankind and sex. And then I invoke my God, Allah. And God, Allah, he sent me a dish of shish kebab, al kufait and I ate it and I get the power of 40 men. Muhammad had the power of 40 men. But yet, according to Muslims, Muhammad could not even have sex with his own wives. He used to imagine. And how you can follow someone, he imagined himself having sex. 
what about himself imagine himself to have a man in the shape of or he he think he is Jibreel if this man cannot recognize the difference between real sex and fake sex that means he is living in an illusion he is mentally ill how you can trust such a man with this I say may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again God is winning thank you bye-bye